So you can't get your team to make it past top 60 in this game? Or can you? Hey, I'm Abby Gagno from Watch Jojo, and today I'm going to be teaching you some tricks to stay alive just a little longer than usual. It's okay, we're not all MLG. Number five, the rocket launcher trick. This trick involves you and a teammate, so this needs to be done in either a duo or squad. First, grab a rocket launcher, get your teammate to stand in front of you or vice versa. As one player fires the rocket, the other jumps and you'll find the player flying through the sky on the rocket. This trick is useful for situations like avoiding the storm, running away from a fight, or reaching high places really fast. Number four, dropping down mountains. Don't spend time running down a mountain or higher place to avoid fall damage. You can build your way down. If you find yourself wanting to scale a mountain fast, go to the edge and look down. Switch to your building hotkeys and select the platform or stairs. Drop off the edge and wait about a second or so, then build a platform. You'll land on a half-built platform and you'll avoid taking damage. Jump off the platform, build again, and repeat until you reach the bottom. This is great for traveling faster or avoiding the storm and combat, just like the rocket launcher trick. Number three, landing on roofs. Do you ever find yourself dying right at the start because you don't have a gun? You can change that by always landing on roofs. Landing on a roof lets you have about a five second head start on other players. Break down the roof and land in the attic of the building and you'll almost always find a gun or chest. Always double check to see if players are landing on the same building as you because they'll be going for the same thing. Number two, landing towards water. Want to land even faster? No problem. Right off the start, as you exit the bus, aim towards the ocean. Make sure you're diving and make sure you land directly above water itself, not any land. Your glider will only activate as it reaches a certain height above land, so this allows you to activate your glider whenever you want. Whenever you dive, you're going faster towards land than a glider, so this lets you have about 10 seconds on anyone else not doing it. The downside is you're stuck landing at the edge of the map, so you have to head out almost right away after looting one or two buildings to avoid the storm. Number one, using slurp juice in the storm. An interesting mechanic in this game is slurp juice. As we know, slurp juice heals you over time for 25 points in both health and shield. Most people use it right away or keep it for after a fight. But did you know that if you use it while in the storm, it will heal you as you lose health? For the first few seconds, it creates this balance effect where your health will remain the same. This allows you to stay in the storm for about 15 seconds without taking damage. It's useful for if you're about to hit the circle as the storm catches up to you, or avoiding a fight when the circle gets too small. So there you have it. Landing faster, traveling faster, surviving the storm, these will all give you an advantage over other players. Just don't land at tilted towers and you'll be fine. Which tricks do you like the best? If you have any other methods, please share down below. As always, be sure to subscribe for more content. I'm Abby Gagno from Watch Jojo, and thanks for watching.